Cloth stones are one of my favorite sets of gems to use in accessorizing outfits and headpieces. And I've gotten a lot of questions from some of us on the channel asking me to show how to tack them onto fabric. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can tack your cloth stones onto your fabric, onto your hair accessories in simple steps. So if you will be interested in knowing all about this process, please make sure you watch this video to the end. If after watching you have questions for me, please don't hesitate to drop me questions in the comment section share this video with your friends and family that you think will love this type of content like the video also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know every single time I post a video all right guys let's get straight into today's video let's go hi friends so like I said at the intro we are talking all about cloth stones today and if you guys already know, you guys might already know, one of my favorite designers in Nigeria is Vicky James. And she uses cloth stones and beads and sequins a lot with her designs. So today I'm simply going to talk a bit about cloth stones and I'm going to get to the main gist, which is how to tack cloth stones onto fabric. These are different sizes and different styles of cloth stones, okay? They come in different shapes and sizes. And I'm going to leave the link of some of my vendors that I buy from out here in Port Harcourt. Just in case you live here and you're also wondering where you could get a wide range of cloth stones, I'm going to share their names, okay? Feel free to search for them on Instagram and talk to them and make your purchase. But this pink one, I got it, I think, two years ago from Appliques by SAF, okay? By SAF, I don't know how... She pronounces it, but she's called Appliques by Saf on Instagram. I also bought this tiny piece. I bought like a lot of them. Let me show you guys the container where they came in. This is what it looks like. Is It was a pack of, I don't know, it was innumerable. It's difficult to know how many cloth stones are here. I got this, the pack of these cloth stones, I got it from Appliques by Tubo. She's also based in Portacot. These black ones, I think I got them from Daddy Chidera in Rumumasi. I buy a lot of my things from different places because of recent, I've, I've seen people asking, oh, from where did you buy this? Honestly, like I don't have a particular place, but most times if you watch my videos and my vlogs, okay, I know I've not really done, I've not really been doing a lot of vlogs of recent because yeah that's not the focus of my channel right i only do it on the side but if you watch some of my previous vlogs i usually plug my vendors in so if you're new here feel free to check out those vlogs and just update yourself all right guys so without doing too much talking let's get straight into tacking so this is what a cloth stone typically looks like it comes with four holes underneath so you have two on one side two on another side so this is like a marquis or no this is a teardrop shaped cloth stone this one is just oval okay it also comes with four holes two on one side like you can see and two more on this side as well all right guys so we are going to dive straight into the tacking process so you want to first of all knot up your thread and by the way i'm using beading needle just in case you are new here when, com when it comes to beading there's something that we call beading needle and um, they are typically different from hand needles i suggest that you follow me on my other platforms instagram tiktok where I also share like tips and tricks. On those platforms, I post more of short form content and I share like insightful information. My link, I'll try to leave it on the screen, but my Instagram name is always on the top left corner of the screen. This is the size of beading needle that I'm using. I'm using the size 12. So to find the sizing, you just look at where they wrote this number abbreviation and then the figure beside it. So this is size 12. There are so many other sizes. I have a whole video on this process. I'm going to try to also link that video on the screen. This is a size 10 as well. In the video that I talked about not too long ago, I shared the, the usefulness of each size so it helps you determine what size of beading needle you want to use for what project. Anyway, I, I digress. Let's get into tacking. So I've already knot up my... Is anything like knotted? I don't know. But I've gone ahead to knot my thread. I just want to cut off this excess. And because this video is a tutorial, I'm not doing anything in particular. That's why I'm just using a little piece of fabric. This fabric is called felt. So I'm just going to pick one of my cloth stones and then tack it. So you want to first of all, so this particular cloth stone has more than four holes. It has eight holes in total. I don't know if we can also see it. So there's two here, two here, two more here, and another set of two here. But we'll make it work. So first of all, the first thing you want to do is to pass your needle from the bottom, like so. 
let me zoom out a bit so you guys see the broad perspective of what I'm doing. So what you want to do first of all is to pass your needle and thread through one of these sets of holes. So you pass it from side to side, pass it in from here, bring it out at the other side like so. And then pull on, make sure it's secured in place and then stick your needle into the fabric you're attaching it, you're attaching it to, like so. Pass the needle again, as close to this other set of two holes again as possible. Pass it, why is my camera not focusing on the right thing? So I hope we can see and stick your needle through the sides again, like so. It's very easy to do and with anything, practice makes perfect. So if you struggle with this kind of thing, you can just get a little piece of fabric like what I'm doing, get a piece of cloth stone and let's work together, okay? That's what I always advise people to do when watching my videos. Just get your stuff together and let's do it together. It's more fun that way. So it doesn't sound like I'm saying gibberish. You understand what I'm saying clearly. So you could stop here, but you see that the cloth stone is still feeling a bit loose. So we'll take it one more step. So you see this remaining set of two on these two sides. We are going to pass our needle and thread through again, through those holes, just to ensure that what we did is very secure. And yeah, it's just for security. Since we have eight holes, we can as well pass our needle and thread through the eight of them. If it was just four holes, I would have said, well, you go back in one more time through all the four holes. But since we have eight, let's just go through the eight holes and secure our work properly. See that it's getting more firm. It's not moving. So let's do it again one more time. Like so. Pass the needle and thread through this last set of holes again stick it in pull see can you hear the sound <laughs> anyway so now to secure what we've done just pass your needle and thread like this and do it twice and then pull and voila Fini. So what you want to do is of course cut off your thread and it's done. Just for explanation purpose again, let me work on tacking the little cloth stone just to give us like a gist or give us the gist of this little one. But the thing I did here is what applies to any other size of cloth stone that you're working with. Even if it's this style, the marquise or even this square shaped one, any other type is exactly what we did here that we'll do with those ones. But for this little one, let's just do it. This little one is something like what a lot of designers use, especially people like Vicky James, Imagine by Bukola, and so many other. There are so many awesome Nigerian designers now, and even the ones that we've not even heard of that are yet to spring up and get um, more visibility. But the point I'm trying to make is they use a lot of these tiny, tiny cloth stones, they pair it up with um, beads like um, these are our seed beads, right? When you imagine pairing this, maybe on a wedding dress, you have one sparkly, one of these. Let me just illustrate what I'm talking about. Like, it's going to be so beautiful. Just bead it neatly all over, maybe like a wedding dress or an outfit. Just imagine it, it will be so gorgeous. Like, imagine it on a very broad piece of fabric amazing anyway i digress again you guys <laughs> i feel like i'm talking a lot in this video anyway let me get back to knotting up my thread pass your needle and thread underneath like so stick so you see this little one if you see the, if you watch the video that i linked earlier you get more insightful information about this but i'm just going to show us again in this video this little cloth stone as well has different holes underneath so now that i've passed my needle and thread through my fabric I'm just going to stick my needle through the little hole, like so. And then once it's done, pass my needle and thread through the fabric again and pull. Don't stop there. Pass it one more time through the second set of holes, like so. And then stick through the side. 
like so. Pass again. See? It's done. Once this is done, secure your thread as usual. And voila. And that's how to tack cloth stones onto fabric, simple as ABC. And with these, you can also do this. I know I did this on just a little piece of fabric. This same process applies when you're tacking cloth stone onto like a proper dress, maybe a blouse that needs embellishment or a dress, maybe like a party dress or whatever. This same process applies. And I get questions from people saying, oh, when um, maybe beading or doing embellishment work, should your needle go all the way into the lining with tacking on something like a cloth stone you can you can do in fact let me even illustrate what i'm talking about all right so it makes sense to us for passing my needle first of all it needs to go through the fabric okay so maybe imagine that this is your blouse you're passing your needle from inside the lining then you bring it out on the outer parts just like i just did but i'm trying to knot up my thread you bring it out like this and then stick your needle through the hole and instead of passing this needle into the piece of fabric I'm working with I'm just going to do like a little just pass it through like this can you see what I just did this is if you don't want your your beading your needle and try to show on the lining if you are breathing or maybe like a dress or a blouse you you pass like so and then stick your needle and thread again like so bring it out and then do like this and we see All right, guys, I hope you saw what I did there. So if you don't want your, your sewing to show on the inner part, you see that the only thing that is showing here is where we passed our needle through. And because I didn't cut off this excess fabric, I mean, excess piece of thread, that's why it's looking like this. You see that it's just this tiny hole here that is showing all my, all my stitching and stuff is ending in between the fabric. So imagine if you are working on maybe like a blouse or a dress and you don't want your beading to show on the inner parts you can do this and with beading on something like a dress you see all those types of beadwork that you see on clothes from all these our favorite designers a lot of them use what we call invisible thread in my thread video because i did a whole video on the types of thread that you can use in beading i talked about invisible thread and i showed us what an invisible thread looks like so it's best to use invisible threads for those types of work or you use your fishing line but use a very slim fishing line so maybe like the 0.25 fishing line or if you can even get a fishing line that is slimmer than that you can try that out so that your, your invisible thread just like the name goes People have to come very close to see that you used thread in the embellishment process of your work. And if you can't be bothered to use invisible thread because they are kind of, they are more expensive than your regular thread. If you are using a thread, like a regular polyester thread, make sure that the color of the thread you are using matches the dress. If you are bidding on a blue dress, use a matching color of blue thread, okay? If you are bidding on a black dress, use a matching like matching color of thread okay that's if you don't want to use invisible thread so that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed if you found the video very insightful as usual please don't forget to hit the like button that helps me know that you guys got value also if you're not subscribed now is a good time to subscribe please hit the subscribe button don't forget to also turn on your post notification so you'll be the first to know whenever i post a video finally share this video with a friend if you think there's someone that would like this type of content please be sure to share with them and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another one Bye.